What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. And today I'm going to be doing my, my Q&A for you guys today. And my, and my first question is always, what are your recent pickups from my friend Michael? Um, so here they are right here. Um, my first two, um, I, I have four, Hang on. I'll just show you them all for you, there, and my first two are, first one is Space Jam, Let's Kick Some Alien Butt, um, I really like this film, um, it's from... 1996 and I and I, I don't know how I feel about this slip cover but I like I like the other cover um right there and then the disc artwork is just plain old Wonder Brothers disc artwork really so, yeah, that's my first pickup, is Space Jam. And my second film I got is actually a eight film collection, um, The Nightmare on Elm Street. There's the back with Freddy Krueger. And then the slipcover is just the hand. And then just Freddy out of the darkness. And just blood all just blood everywhere um, you get the first film the, the nightmare on Elm Street um, the nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge nightmare on nightmare on Elm Street 3 dream warriors the dream masters on 4 um, the dream child my goodness um, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And th this one came out in 1991. And then three years later, it came, and then 1994. Um, the new Wes Cravens, and then Freddy vs. Jason. So then I said, wait, they came out with a remake, right? In like 2000 whatever because it because f actually f f freddy vs jason i have twice actually right here it's actually the two disc collector set with insert for some reason right there so I said to myself, where is the remake on this? Do I feel ripped off? No, not really. I got I got the Nightmare on Elm Street um, remake, um, Never Sleep Again, for only eight bucks on, on Amazon. So, there you go. And then I got WWE's 24 Best of 2018. Um, I like this cover. Um, you have the Empowered episode. You have Raw 25. I I don't really think I like Raw 25 that much. Um, the Hardy's Woken, which is why I bought it. Because I love this episode. And WrestleMania Orlando. Um, great shot. So that's WrestleMania 34. Um, and, and it comes with a beautiful insert right there. And then just discs, just plain. And I'm going to pop this in right now. So, well, so. Um, so yeah, those are all my pickups that I got. Here they are. Again. So now let's get to rest. Re, 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 re. 
Wrestling DVD Central's question, oh my gosh, my brain is like off b because of that SmackDown main event. I mean, my goodness. Oh yeah, so like, be before we get to that, um, so you have um, Finn Balor and Roman have to sign a contract tonight, like, wait a minute, are we not getting John Cena versus Roman Reigns? Oh my god. We're not getting Cena vs. Reigns at um, SummerSlam. Like, what are we doing here? So then Baron Corbin comes out of nowhere. And he attacks him. He attacks Finn. He takes him out of the ring. And he's saying, I, I have a pen. I have no money. Let, let me just sign the contract here. And I'll get the championship. And I'll, and, and I'll get more money. What is going on here? So, now, John Cena's out here, and he signs a contract. And now it's official. We are getting Cena versus Reigns at SummerSlam. I actually can't. I I actually can't wait for this match. Um. So, we'll let's get into these questions. So, who do you think should draft brands? Sorry, change brands in the next draft. Um. Thank. Thank you for this question, man. Like, I think I think there's only like two names that come to mind. Speaking of the draft for me, it's Keith. Well, the first one, like for real, is um, Drew McIntyre. He has been on Raw what since two thousand eighteen, when he won the tag team titles with Dolph Ziggler. Hello, Dolph Ziggler is in another tag team on SmackDown. And. McIntyre has lost lost the WWE title to Bobby Lashley. Come on over. Come on down. So, like, here's what I don't get. He wins the championship at WrestleMania 36. He loses it. Let's see. Drew McIntyre. Can I get it? And now... Hold on. Championship. Let's go through these. Alright. Down, 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 down. Okay, so... He... He wins the title at Wrestlemania... Two, 203 days. Right? Um, and then he loses to Randy Orton. Which, I loved and hated that rivalry. It went on for three months. Or even longer. Because they had matches on Raw. They had matches on Raw. Pay for you, Raw. So, at, 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 at SummerSlam, lost. Um, Randy Orton lost. McIntyre retained. Orton won. So, and then... Drew McIntyre wins at, like, three days be before um, Survivor Series. Bef before Survivor Series. Because who... Oh, because who wants Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns? Nobody. That's a thing. Drew McIntyre versus Reigns for Survivor Series. Great. That was the best match on this card. So, thank you for winning Drew McIntyre. But, and then...
You have him lose at Elimination Chamber after you have him in like a 36 minute match in the chamber. And then The Miz loses to Lashley in like five minutes. And then, oh wait, did The Miz lose to Lashley or McIntyre? Oh, I guess in in in, in WWE rule books, McIntyre lost. Because he gets he, he gets title after title match, after title match, after title match, after title match. Lose it on Raw, dude. Your time is up. Move over to SmackDown, man. Win like an IC title. Win the Universal title. You wait. The United States title's on Raw, so win the tag team. Win, win the SmackDown tag team titles. I don't care. Just move over to SmackDown. Like I said, your time is up on Raw, dude. You're done. So and then, and then I'm thinking like. Who do I think deserves to go on SmackDown? And I'm thinking Keith Lee. Because Keith Lee, let's see. Okay, so... And speaking of this, um, it started a few with Karrion Cross over the NXT title at NXT TakeOver 30. He, he would lose, and it would be his final match. Um, at, at SummerSlam, it was announced that Keith Lee was moving over to Raw. Lee would make his debut on Raw, who faced Randy Orton for giving his provocation, blah, blah, blah. Lee, Lee and Orton was made for a payback pay-per-view. Oh, my God. Lee won. At Survivor Series, Lee was made up uh, with uh, with Raw, and, and they won. Lee would enter for a WWE title, participating in a triple threat match at TLC. He lost against AJ Styles. Lee was faced faced Riddle and Lashley for U.S. title at a, at a Elimination Chamber, but was pulled from the event due to injury. Oh, really? Injury. That took him six months. Six months? To get cleared? February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, yeah, six months. And then... Oh, I'm sorry. Five months. After five months' absence, Lee returned on the July 19th of Raw, accepting... Ah, crap. Accepting... Bobby Lashley's open challenge, but was defeated. Oh, really? You haven't been on Raw in five months? Of course you're going to be defeated by the WWE Champion... And then, on the July 26th episode of Raw, he was he lost to NXT champion, Karrion Cross. Dude, you don't win t Well, well, according to this, you only won one match on Raw in your whole career on Raw. Was made for a pay-per-view called Payback against Orton. He won. Yeah, dude, you only won one match. And th and that wasn't even on Raw. So, dude, do yourself and the WWE Universe a favor and move over to SmackDown. Like, oh my god, you need to. I, I, I don't know what else to say about Keith Lee, dude. Like, he's... He, he's a good wrestler... But he, but he, he just needs n new opponents and a, a, a new lease on life, dude. 
and then we get into his um, wrestling DVD Central's last question, and um, when the draft when the draft d does come around, like more like in the next in the next couple of weeks or months, um, I will. I will um, get to that question again, actually. So, just wait on that. Um, so he's so. His next question is thoughts on carrying crosses. Um, rain on raw. Well, of 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 course he didn't say rain, but like your first night on raw carrying, and you're the NXT champion. You you know what Kevin Owens did on his first night, his first match on the main roster. He beat the hell out of John Cena. And what and and I'm I'm sorry. What did you do? Now, n n no disrespect to to Jeff Hardy. I, I I'm hearing he's he's battling COVID right now. So we pray for you, Jeff Hardy. We 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 hope you come back soon. But. Like for real, you're the you're the NXT champion in your first night on Raw, and you get defeated by a roll up, and Jeff and Jeff Hardy has his feet on the ropes. Like really, and then. See, here's what I don't get about Monday Night Raw right now. Like I said, about Keith Lee. You have Keith Lee, who needs a win. Like a huge win. And then you have Karrion Cross, the, the NXT champion, who needs a win as well, since he just lost to Jeff Hardy. Oh, yeah. Let's just go back in management. And put Keith Lee. Oh yeah, we'll put um uh, that. That's a great idea. We'll put Keith Lee, a guy who needs a win, versus oh the oh the only guy who cares. Um, Karrion Cross, I think is it his name. Let let's put them together. Yeah, two guys who need wins. Does that make any sense to you? Keith Lee lost. Because of Karrion Cross, Great. But we don't need that. We need Keith Lee versus an opponent that, that, that he can win. And then these contender matches. Like, Nikki Cross, Rhea Ripley, and Charlotte Flair are, are, are already booked. Oh, I'm sorry. Nikki Ash, the new women's champion. But, like, what are these contender matches? Like, like on Raw, you had Damian Priest versus Sheamus. Right? And it says United States Championship match. Like, he's getting a shot. And then, you, you, know, you know how happy I was. Damian Priest defeats Sheamus. No! You United States champion? Yes! Here's your winner. Damien Priest. I'm saying like... What? So I, re so I rewound it and said, Here's your winner, Damien Priest. It said the same thing. So I'm saying like, He's not the champion. So, and then, then, like, I really go back. Like, r like, right before the match starts. Like, like, right before the commercial. It says, Damian Priest versus Sheamus in the United States Contender Match. United States Championship Contender Match. What the heck is a contender match? Like, I know what an... Uh, 
I know what a number one contendership match is. But now, like, they have a Charlotte versus Nikki Ash in a number one, in, like, a, a Raw Women's title, no holds barred match on Monday, in a contenders match. When you have them all already set up for, for, for SummerSlam. What is going on Monday Night Raw? So, I don't know. I, I, I hope to get answers from Goldberg. Even though that I might not even watch Raw because I might not be home. Which, now nah, I think of it, I hope I'm not. But I will watch Raw probably on Tuesday morning. But yeah, so those are my thoughts on the draft, and Karrion Cross's debut, and Keith Lee, and these contender match things. Like, why can't you just call it a normal contendership match and leave the championships out of it? Like, the graphic, United States Championship Contenders Match. What the heck is that? So I so I hope you enjoyed this Q and A. Um, I I sort of calmed down after SmackDown to, to actually do this because I I was in a big rant, but I hope to see you guys next week. And this has been Patrick from Pores Unboxings, and I'm out. Peace.